Today, guys, uh, I'm going to do a video. Uh, subscriber question. Going to address a subscriber question. Uh, what it's like being black? What's the black experience like in the fishing industry? It actually came up four or five times in the comments and DMs each. So uh, obviously, it's something that people want to hear about, want to know about. So I want to address it here. You know, before I even get started, I know where this conversation goes because I've had it with several people over the years privately. Never really done much publicly on this. But um, a lot of times when you talk about race, when you talk about gender in the fishing industry, people will often throw at you this cliche about uh, the fish don't know if you're a man or a woman. The fish don't know if you're black or white. Uh, they don't know your skin color. We're not talking about that. It's, it's, we we always, always talk about how fishing is like 90% mental and then when it comes to the subject then we want to start talking about fish hook, line, and sinker. Of course they don't know that. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about what it's like to operate in a space that's full of people that can't relate to you. That's, that is the nuts and bolts of this conversation. We know that the fish can't see that we're black or that we're a woman or a man or whatever whatever the case may be what we're talking about is what is it like to achieve goals what is it like to operate in a space where literally almost nobody can relate to your life experience is what we're talking about how do you navigate in that space is what this conversation is about to be about racism in the fishing industry the fishing industry is nothing but people in the world that all like fishing. So whatever you experience in the world, you're gonna experience in the fishing industry as well. So have I experienced, you know, like racism? Yeah, but I haven't experienced any racism that, I'm not gonna say it's very rare. I can count three times that I've experienced racism that matters. Most of the stuff that happens and the things that I deal with, they don't matter. Uh, me and a buddy, what we call this, we call these inconveniences. There's a lot of times being black in the fishing world that it's inconvenient. I deal with questions, uh, like looks and stuff that, to this is, is like it's inconvenient. I don't even really care about that, but it's, it's, it's inconvenience to answer dumb questions about why do you get a boat every year when every pro that has ever existed since the beginning of the time gets a boat every year. I don't know why that question is always directed at me or. Or, you know, how do you get money to fish? And how did you get started? Like, it's always some inconvenient questions, but that stuff doesn't matter. It, it, it doesn't, at the end of the day, it doesn't keep a fish off of my hook. It doesn't change the standings at tournament results. It doesn't change my winnings. It doesn't change anything that I'm trying to accomplish. So, like, none of that stuff, it's just noise. It doesn't matter. Uh, so, like, there's only been three times that I can think of where there's been some really, really odd things that happen. The local scene, when I was fishing around home locally, happened a lot more frequently. Uh, but, you know, since I've, since I've fished professionally, nothing but noise. You see things in comments. I have to deal with DMs that, you know, I got friends that I call and I, and I, and I blow that steam off and I vent to. But I don't ever bring that to the front deck of my boat. I never bring that to an interview, uh, any of that stuff. I blow that off with my fishing buddies that I got, my small circle of buddies that I call and say, hey, man, look, man, I'm dealing with this. I got this DM. I got this comment, um, you know, that that kind of thing. But so, so yeah, it's out there and it exists, but there's really nothing that can, can hold you. I'm not going to say there's nothing, but it is very, very rare for anything to happen that actually affects my results or impedes on my goals that I want to accomplish and the things that I want to do with my career and with, with you know, catching fish. It's, it's very rare that that doesn't happen. Um, I am like, I do want to take like this time to like, to, to encourage and maybe just um, plant a seed to even my lady anglers and black anglers or brown anglers, whoever else is out there, minorities, uh, like the field is ripe. We need you out here. I think there's uh, when one makes it, it's that banister effect. Obviously, the industry is pretty monotone. Pretty much everybody looks and sounds the same. Uh, the fishing industry needs you here, being you, looking like you, sounding like you whoever you are, 
we need that difference in here. We, we, we got to have it uh, for the industry to keep moving progressively and moving forward and reaching new audiences and, and growing. And you need to be a part of this. And when I say by you need to be a part of this, you need to apply for the jobs at the companies. You need to fish the tournaments. Uh, you need to make the posts, whatever the thing that you have to to bring to the fishing fishing industry. We need you. Bring it. The field is ripe for for you. If I had one thing I could I could say to you is is um, I know I get a lot of inquiries about you know man such and such how do I handle the situation I, when I show up to the ramp or when I'm at my tournaments there's a weird vibe or you know i feel some type of way being in this I, I i hear a lot of questions and comments and concerns about wanting to be like validated affirmed embraced um and you got to just release that responsibility of the public of the industry embracing you validating you affirming you you got to release them of that responsibility and you embrace, you affirm, you validate your gift that you want to bring to the fishing industry. Whatever you want to do, put it out there and don't expect anybody to embrace it and validate it or make you feel good about it. That's the number one thing and number one mistake I hear from so many min minorities. Uh, my lady anglers that come in, uh, we always have it like a, a, we see eye to eye. I think we deal with a lot of the same things. You got to release people of that. It's not their responsibility to, uh, to embrace you. Uh, just release people of the idea of, of giving you value. You be your value. You be your value. You bring your value. Be valuable to the people who are listening to you and just release everybody of that. I think once we have more minorities doing that you're going to see like this waterfall of diversity within our industry because you're just not going to get it <laughs> like you're not you're not going to get it like they're not going to affirm you because you're black you're brown you're a woman whatever you may be that that is you, you have to let that go and you have to get dead set on the goals that you want to accomplish I want to fish the pro circuit one day. From the time you say that to 10 years from now, the only thing that can matter is the fact that you want to make it. And everything else that happens around you is just noise and obstacles that you got to kind of weave through and around. And so, yeah, your experience will be different. You'll, you'll observe that. Of course, you know, like I can't live somebody else's life, and, but I observe and I'll see like, man, they would never say that to him or they would never do this. Or I see what goes on around me. That stuff does not matter. You cannot let it matter. You have to kind of just press through all that and release everybody, the industry, companies, comments, YouTube, social media. You got to release all of those entities from responsibility of making you feel validated affirmed uh embrace and you do all that stuff for yourself is the only thing that i would encourage you to do um that's all i got to say about being black in the fishing industry i think it was a great question i'm glad that uh it came up so many times um i'm gonna be honest with you it take it took uh it took a uh to go on a public platform and talk about it, dude, it ain't the same. One on one, I love talking about it, but I, dude, uh, like I said, I think everybody likes the fact that I'm real until I'm real crosses them, and so I know, uh, I know a lot of times I have to deal with the the bull crap that people have designed in their heads without living the experience, and so um, that's my always my hesitation of being public with. Uh, ex expressing the lived experience that uh, that I have, and I'm sure so many have can relate when it comes to being black in the fishing industry. But I can say overall, dude, been great for me. I got, I don't really have anything to complain about. If I if I need to complain about, it, I got I got my group of friends that I complain to, and then I go back to work soon after that. So uh, that's what it's like. I think this is the last of at least for this week. I'm going to go back to my normal fishing videos this coming week. I might even take a week off, but uh, back to our normal fishing videos from here on out.